All right, my friends, welcome to another video here. In case you are new, my name is Bijan, and in this video, we will be doing another quick, quick, quick trade recap. Uh, the reason I put such an emphasis on quick, quick, quick is because compared to my last few videos, it's going to be a lot quicker. I might ramble a little bit here, but the other videos were like 10 or 15, minute, 15 minutes long, uh, mainly because they were swing trades. Swing trades, it, it's a lot longer to explain them. This one, nice and simple. It's a day trade. Um, so really I'm just going to point it out on the chart, go over the calculations and that'll really be it. So, uh, we were trading Apple. I was trading puts this time. Uh, so like the previous video we were trading calls. Now we're trading puts. Puts means you make money as the value of the stock goes down. I had a $2,440 profit. And what else? What else did I have to say about it? Uh, that's really pretty much it. Uh, we, I was in it at 636. I placed an order for 10 contracts, but I didn't get the fill, uh, a full fill. Four of them filled. Yeah, four of them filled, and then the other six were sitting there, and I basically had to change the order around and adjust the order to get the rest of the... Um, to get the rest of the six to fill. So you're gonna see that it was at different prices here. We had four at 11.85, and then we had six at 12.20. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna say that we had them all at the average price of, let's say 12. Or we'll just say 12.05, how about that? Give them, give everybody the benefit of the doubt, the naysayers, the haters, cause you don't, you know, People, they get mad about every little thing. They're like, oh no, hey, that's five cents. It's a scam, he's lying. <laughs> I don't know, you guys know people these days. So anyways, moving forward here. So we'll say 12.05 was the average price that we got all 10 of them at. Again, we were trading puts. Puts means you make money when the value of the stock goes down. I had a next week expiration. Uh, so I had time to hold it through the day if I really wanted to. But uh, a few things happened. Obviously, we'll touch base on that back on the charting side of it. Um, and, and that, that's pretty much that. Let me just do the calculation here and we'll move to that side. So 10 contracts at 12.05 each is going to be $12,050. Then about 45 minutes later, I think like exactly 45 minutes later, I sold all 10 of them for $14.50. So that's an easy calculation. 10 at $14.50 is going to be $14,000. $500. That's what we sold it for. The cost of the trade was $12,050. So you simply subtract the $12,050 from the $14,500. And that's where you get $2,450. Now we have $2,440 here. Like I said, I mean, we were pretty close with the 1205 average price was probably something like 1206 or 1204 or something like that um but anyways that's pretty much how it went down so cost of the trade was about 12,000 we sold it for about 14,500 about 2,400 2,500 dollar profit there for a quick simple uh explanation on the calculation there um so cost of the trade like i always like to tell people if you have $12,000, if you know what you're doing, you could have made $2,450 as well in about 45 minutes. Uh, and when I say that that was the cost of the trade, that doesn't mean that that is what we will lose. That's just how much money you had to have to place the trade. Like a used car, as I always like to say, you buy a used car for $12,000 thinking you can sell it for fifteen. dollars You find out, oh no, something's wrong with the car or you know whatever it is. You're not throwing the car away. You're not going to go take it to the junkyard. You're going to sell it for a small loss. Uh, so that's that idea. And that's pretty much it, guys. That was really it on the calculation. I'm, I'm kind of like stretching it, trying to see. Maybe I'm used to making the long videos on that swing trade now, uh, on those last few videos. Uh, but anyways, this is where it is. I got in at 636. I was out at 716. Right here is the 636 area that I got in at. As the value of the stock went down, the value of our puts increased. And right here is where I sold... All 10 of them at right at that 716 area. So basically what happened is I was watching the 510 area here on Apple. I even mentioned it in the chat room. And we just completely like just dropped right from it. I didn't even have a chance to get in. I mean we dropped $3. Which 
I don't know. That's a lot to me. I'm not, I don't. I didn't want to chase that. So once I saw that we were getting a nice pop back up to that area and that we weren't just shooting straight through it, and of course a few other things that I saw as well, that's when I decided to go ahead and start in with my puts. Um, again, I'm just trying to give you guys a little bit, you know, here, a little bit there, as much information as possible. Um, so anyways, like I said, I got into the trade there. I was out right here. Now the reason I got out, I wanted to hold the trade to see if we can get to the 500 area. Initially, my main profit target was going to be the 505 area. Uh, once we just dropped straight through the 505 area, I said, okay, let me raise my stop up to the 505. Meaning if we go back above the 505, I'll get out. If not, then I'll just hold it until we can see if we can get 500 flat. And long story short, I guess maybe I should have raised my stop or I'm sorry, I should have, you know, changed my stop, lowered my stop. Uh, to, you know, a little bit more, maybe 507.50, something like that. But I don't know. I, I just didn't want to, you know, I also didn't want to sit there all day, to be honest with you guys. That, that was also part of it too. Uh, so I kind I just raised my stop to the 505 area and right here, it kind of popped right above that 505 and pinged my alert that I had just placed on that level. So I said, all right, well, time to get out of it. And that's pretty much where I got out of it. And then it just lingered for the rest of the day. You guys know the whole midday lull thing that I talk about in the course. Um, and then obviously it decided to, okay, kind of make a little bit more of a, a move there. And then it just lingered throughout the end of the day. Obviously it could have been more profit uh, if I was still holding it, but we don't worry about that. So hopefully this, you guys enjoyed the video. I tried to give as much detail as possible without having to give like too much away and without being like unfair to my students that have like paid me to learn from me and everything like that. Um, uh, but hopefully you guys were able to put two and two together, pick up on a few ideas here, a few ideas there, but that's pretty much that guys. It was a quick $2,440 profit in about 45 minutes. We were trading puts, puts means you make money as the value of the stock goes down. I uh, just wanted to kind of do a, a video on this to kind of follow up since I did recently a video on the swing trades, kind of like, you know, Hey, while everything's fresh for people. Uh, but anyways, that's that guys. This is where the rambling starts. So as always. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please be so kind. Subscribe, put the notification bell, do a thumbs up. I mean, hey, do a thumbs down, I guess, if you didn't like it. You know what I mean? It all helps us anyways. Drop a comment. Um, you guys know the deal. If you want to join our watch list or you want to learn how to trade, I'll put the link in the description uh, for our website. You can sign up for the course or join the watch list. I know most people don't like to hear about taking courses anymore. It's like people are anti-education these days. No one's willing to invest in their education. They'd rather go and lose a bunch of money and try and figure it out on their own. Uh, so I won't touch too much base on the course, but the watch list can definitely benefit you if you're looking for new plays. Uh, you know, you want to plan for your play. You don't know how to find your stocks or trade. Whatever it is, guys, I'm just trying to th throw all these options out there for you guys. So I'll put the link in the description below. You want to follow me on social media, who's Bijan T on Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, whatever else there is. And we'll wrap it up here and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.